Ron Kreider reporting for duty. It is Sunday. Today is September the 13th, my day 182. Stay safe at home. I did go out last night. I have a little report about that at the end of this video. I also have a little bit of good news with respect to the numbers. We sort of go up and down with these numbers. We have to take it. Hey, it's the Lord's Day, so we got to deal with it today. This is good. These are good numbers. I did uh, do a little comparison to some of the other Sundays. Seems like Sundays the numbers are down. I don't know if the people are just getting lazy on Sunday or they actually get down on Sunday, or maybe they just don't turn in the numbers. Who knows? Nonetheless, I have good news to report today. So we have a little green on the screen. So look at this. Only 10 new deaths to report. It's, 10 is always 10 too many. We know that. But nonetheless, yesterday it was 97. Today it's 10. That's an improvement of 87 over yesterday, over Saturday. And as far as the positives are concerned today, 2,423. Yesterday it was 3,190. And that's an improvement of 767. So that's the good news. The bad news, of course, is the seven-day moving average is 108.00. It was 111 yesterday, and it was 106 on Friday. Thursday, it was 95.43. It'll start to come down if we get rid of some of these big numbers because we have a – on Friday, we had a uh, – uh, a number of deaths, 176. Thursday, we had 207 for deaths. And on Wednesday of this past week, we went, had 196. Those, those big numbers are what's keeping this up. So unfortunately, we have to live with it until those numbers sort of disappear. And, they, and it'll take a few days for them to go away. All righty, folks. So um, I don't have any real headlines to talk to you about today, other than to give you some shout outs. Got some good shout outs today. Always shout outs to Heather Mason, for sure, Heather. Okay, I hope you're having a really great uh, uh, holiday weekend. It's not a holiday weekend, it's just a weekend, all right? Have a good weekend. Always to Marie Arnold, who lives here in our building, Diana Stark, Joan, Ellen, Elizabeth, George, Vanessa, uh, Tony down in Miami. Wayne and Dorothy, the Minnetonka people, the Kennedys up on Long Island, uh, Donna, Raymond Carey, Captain Marsha, who is off today, Danny up in Jersey, Rod and uh, Barb Dumoulin, Jim Peabody, Britt, Betsy, Sherry, Jay, George Ed Timothy, John Marks and Kelly over at the Polo Deli. Hey, guys, how, it'll be not open today. They'll be open tomorrow. Good stuff over there. Great prices on wine. Barbie, Ann Halley, Kathleen, Bruce, Jay Parm, uh, Rosemary Brittle, Megan, Joyce, Jean, Nancy Strazul, S T R A Z Z U L A. Strazul. Come on, Ron, get it together. Strazula. 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 Okay. I'm sorry I mispronounced your name. I think you actually bought a house from us one time, if I'm not mistaken, over in Seagrove. Could be. Might have been. Maybe it's somebody different, but there's not a lot of Strazulas around. And I should know a name like that. I, you know, One of my names was Ruggieri and Ruggiero. Come on, it's an Italian name. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, folks, don't forget. Don't forget to push the like button, please. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Okay, don't forget to mask up. It's easier to wear a mask than a ventilator. Say that every day. Notice I haven't said anything about the Brit word. I'm not going to say anything about the Brit word. Reminding you, you folks who have heard me say it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, I do have the weather report today for the oh, hey, weather. Weather has not been terribly good here for you folks who are watching this. An awful lot of people who see this video aren't here. This is not so much for the people who live here. It's for the people who live up north. We have a ton of people who spend their summers and maybe fall up north, and they come back here for the winter season, but they want to know what's going on at their second home down here. So that's why they're doing it, and that's why they like to keep an eye on what's going on down here. And so we've had not such great weather. Thunderstorms likely this morning. Well, it's over. Sorry about that. Chance of scattered thunderstorms this afternoon. Heavy and torrential downpours at times. We've had a little of that. High 88 degrees. Winds southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. The chance of rain today is about 80%. As I said earlier at the end of this video, well, maybe I didn't say it yet, but at the end of this video, I'm going to stick in a little bit of information about uh, the storms that are brewing and flowing around, none of which are going to affect us at the moment. But just so you know, you hear about them, and now you'll see where they are. They'll be at the end of the video after the numbers. 
Tonight, scattered showers and thunderstorms. That Sunday night, low 77. Winds southeast at 10 to 12 miles per hour. Chance of rain tonight's only about 40%. And then tomorrow, sun and clouds mixed with a slight chance of thunderstorms during the afternoon, high 89 degrees. The winds east-southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. The chance of rain tomorrow is only about 30%, so that's a really good thing. All right, we're happy to hear about that. All righty, folks, so here we go with the numbers, and uh, you'll see that the numbers in the counties uh, are looking really good because there were so few deaths, 10 deaths. Oh, we like that. We really like that. We don't like any deaths. I have to say that because people say, ah, Kreider's celebrating 10 deaths. What's the matter with him? No, 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 no. Come on, come on. I'm not celebrating anything. I'm celebrating the fact that we had less less deaths than we have had in the past number of days, and that is a very good thing. All right, here we go with the numbers. All righty, folks, here we are, September the 13th. It's Sunday, and there is good news on the chart today. Seems like we go up and down and up and down and up and down, but let's uh, be grateful for what we have. It is Sunday. It's the Lord's Day, so let's go with this. Today, we had only 10 new deaths reported in the past 24 hours, as opposed to 97 new deaths yesterday, so that was a betterment, my new word, 87 better than yesterday. As uh, far as total positives are concerned, we bettered yesterday by 767. Yesterday it was 3,190. Today it's 2,423. That is for the entire state of Florida. Only 10 deaths for the entire state of Florida. It's Sunday. I mean, I don't know whether this just happens all the time on Sunday. Just for fun, let's take a look at last Sunday. Stand by here. All righty, last Sunday, last Sunday would have been September the 7th, and we had 13. Let's go back and look at a Sunday before that. All right, here is Sunday. This is August the 30th. It was a 13. Absolutely, it was a 13 on Sunday. So it does appear that we get some pretty low numbers on uh, the weekends, especially on Sunday. All right, I guess I can analyze as much as I want, but it is what it is, and it's not going to change. So here we go. Let's take a look at Miami-Dade. No new deaths to report in Miami-Dade and 296 new positives in Broward County. That's Fort Lauderdale. One new death to report, 161 new positives. Then in Palm Beach County, no new deaths to report, 152 new positives. All righty, let's move the page up here to Orange County. Orange County is Orlando. No new deaths to report. 93 new positives in Brevard County. Brevard County is Melbourne. No new deaths to report. 34 new positives. And in St. Lucie County, no new deaths to report. 23 new positives. Martin County. Martin County is uh, Stewart. No new deaths to report. No new positives. And then we can take a look at Indian River County. That's where I am. There was one new death to report, 12 new positives. And uh, out of the 12 new positives, there was only one of those new positives in zip code 32960. The other was in 32963. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the seven-day moving averages. Today, it's 108, 108.00. It was 111 on Saturday. It was 106 on Friday. And look, we were down to 95, 86, and 76 on Tuesday. Now, of course, I keep saying every day, what's keeping these numbers up? These big numbers here. We had 97 yesterday, 176 on Friday, 207 on Thursday and 196 on Wednesday. Now, as these numbers start sliding over to the left here and the numbers on the right, the most recent numbers come down, like this green one over here at 10, then, of course, the seven-day moving averages will come down. That's a very important thing. So let's go take a look at the seven-day moving average chart. Now, I have reworked this chart, and there we are. We got a little slide down now, but look at this. Wasn't this horrible? We were on the 9th of uh, September and the 8th of September. We were way down here at 76.57, and yesterday we were at 111.57 for the seven-day seven moving averages. And now here we are at uh, 108. All right, 
it's beginning to come down a little bit. Let's hope this week will be better. I will say again, and I'm not going to say this anymore today for sure, uh, I am a little fearful what's going to happen at the end of this week and the beginning of next week because that's when Labor Day may show up with uh, some numbers as a result of that holiday weekend that we had. All righty, here we are taking a look at the uh, United States, all of the states, and uh, this is as of yesterday, and this is as was the, the deaths, the total deaths as of yesterday. So Texas uh, led the bunch here with a 105. We had 97 yesterday. California was 71. Then Georgia, Tennessee, Arizona, 27. North Carolina, 24. Illinois, 22. They were in eighth place. Alabama, 17, with a ninth place. And Indiana had 17. Let me slide down here a little bit more. Take a look at Massachusetts with 16. And then uh, we had Kentucky uh, for uh, 13. South Carolina had 12. Wisconsin had 12. Michigan had 11. Oklahoma had 11. Kansas had 11. Minnesota, for our friends at Minnetonka, they had eight up there. Maryland had eight. New York had seven. Missouri had eight. New Jersey had four. Iowa, four. Colorado had three. Idaho had three. Pennsylvania had one. And that pretty much takes care of it for the areas that the people that we are doing this for are interested in. All right, here we go with the global view. These are the big numbers here. The United States cases, 6,492,744. USA deaths, 193,723. The global cases, 28,807,891. And the global deaths were 920,942. So there you go, folks. Those are the numbers for today. Uh, following this, I have a little bit of information on the storms that are out there blowing around. If you haven't seen my little video on that, I did a little short video earlier today, but I'm going to stick that in here at the end. And then I did get to the Tides restaurant last night. I'll show you a little bit about that. I'll be back in just a moment. All right, so folks, I was uh, telling you, for first let me do this. Let's do the... Um, Let's put the video in here. I'm going to drop the video in here right now. And this is the video from this morning, uh, I think around 6.45. And that'll, I don't, I'm not even going to narrate it. I'll just plug the video in that I used this morning. There's no point in me over talking that. You get an idea of where these storms are. It's like a minute and a half long. And then we'll come back. Okay. Morning, everyone. Run Kreider here with your Sunday morning update. Just to give you an idea about this storm situation, Tropical Storm Sally is 115 miles west of Port Charlotte this morning and will continue to move away from the United States and uh, deeper into the Gulf of Mexico. Sally is strengthening, packing sustained winds of 50 miles per hour and gusting up to 60. So that's kind of where you she is right now. And she's going to head up towards, at least at the moment, she's going to head up towards uh, New Orleans. Of course, New Orleans seems to be always the target. This is kind of a, as I said yesterday, kind of a cheesy way to show you how to do this because I couldn't get the other video to work for me. Uh, so I'm holding my iPhone up to the camera here so you can see where she is. But as you can see, uh, this is a moving loop right now. And uh, that's the direction that she's going in at this time. It's This is at... Uh, this was around 6.30, 6.45 this morning. Now, here are the other storms that are out there in the uh, North Atlantic, none of which pose any threat to the United States at the moment. It doesn't look that they will continue to come. Or they will try to come over to our area whatsoever. So we're in pretty good shape. As a matter of fact, here comes another little shot of video for the Vero Beach, Treasure Coast area. Uh, from about Jupiter all the way up to uh, Sebastian and Melbourne. And as you can see, uh, this is the way it looked this morning at uh, 635 and we're all clear. So nothing to worry about for you folks that live up north and have places down here. Not to worry, at least not right now. If it's time to worry, I'll tell you. We'll come back. Okay, now we're back. So now you know all about the storm. So I went to the Tides last night. Tides Restaurant here in Vero Beach is what I consider one of the very best restaurants in town. And from my standpoint, I had uh, 
Oysters Casino, which you'll see right up here. I got to tell you, Oysters Casino, they're the best. I make stuff. I, I order things when I go out to a restaurant that I don't get at home. I don't make Oysters Casino here, for heaven's sakes. And then I had this fabulous duck. I wish I could tell you what kind of duck it was, but it was duck. And as you can see, it's uh, over some potatoes and there's also some carrots involved there. But the duck was perfectly done. It was really scrumptious. And I don't make a lot of duck here. So it was a really a great evening. Everybody was uh, distance spacing. They have uh, moved the tables. We sat outside, but we were under an awning there when you just first come into the tides on the left-hand side there. And uh, so they have removed half of the tables in there so that, you know, there's nobody really close to you, which is kind of nice. And we were in a corner, so it was really, really good. And it was uh, uh, Edward Merrill's birthday. Actually, it was a pre-birthday celebration because today is his birthday. So he only got, he only got one present yesterday, and then he'll get another present today. He's one of the people who live here, and he is also one of the contributors and one of my associates on my Vero Beach Five Star website. And I just want to remind you, it's VeroBeachFiveStar.com, B-E-R-O-B-E-A-C-H-F-I-V-E-S-T-A-R.com. Still a work in progress. It's coming along. It took a like a little, what, little backwards today with it because I went into a couple of issues, and, but I'll, I'll get it back on track again. Uh, but it's not just for Vero Beach. Now, for you folks who live around here, of course, we put all of our favorite restaurants in Vero and Melbourne and uh, Fort Lauderdale and West Palm Beach on there. And right now, there's only like 25 of them. But there will be all of our favorite restaurants all over the world. So there'll be a different access to get into it, but it's still going to be the same website as we add in some of the other restaurants that we've been to. Like, oh my goodness gracious, how about one in Reims, France? It was uh, another really... Uh, Le Curier. Oh, yeah. Just absolutely spectacular. Uh, I, I can't tell you how many great places we have been to all over the world. But anyway, those will be on here as well. It's not just the best restaurants in Vero Beach. It's going to be the rest, best restaurants we have been to in the world and fairly recently as well. So that's why I wanted to let you know about that. But it's still a work in progress. So it'll be a little while. So just kind of check back every once in a while and take a look at it. And I'll remind you from time to time. And don't forget to send me some pictures of your pets. Because if you do, I'll put them up here and we can talk about the wonderful little pets. Pets are the, just the best things. Anything but a snake is fine with us. Ron Kreider at gmail.com. And as I say every day, don't forget to push the like button. Never be a part of the problem and always be a part of the solution. And have a very, very blessed Sunday. I look forward to seeing you back here on Monday. Ron Kreider, signing off.